In the previous video, we saw how to get started with the creation of the project using STM32CubeID for the acquisition of the accelerometer. In this third section of the UpNote video, we are going to add the pre-trained Keras model to process the accelerometer data using STM32Cube.ai. We are back to our high-level diagram of the application. In the previous video, we focused on the initialization phase with the configuration of the peripherals like I2C and the UART and the accelerometer acquisition. In this video, we'll be focusing on the last step how to add the pre-trained neural network model using stm32cube.ai and how to output the inference results. Before getting started with the stm32cubeid project, if you go on the wiki page, you can find the pre-trained Keras model. You may want to download this file now. We will use it later in the video. You can also find a Python notebook that can be used to train your own model and also a ready-to-use dataset of three-axis acceleration data for various human activities. Now we are back into STM32CubeID and we need to add STM32Cube.ai to our project. To do so, we are going to open the IOC file. In the Pinout and Configuration tab, we are going to click on Software Pack, select Component, click on Artificial Intelligence, and enable the core, then click OK. Now we are going to add uh, the Keras model to the Xcube AI configuration. To do so, we click on Software Pack, Xcube AI. Here on the bottom, we're going to click Add Network. Make sure that the model is selected as Keras. Then we're going to select the model. I already downloaded it here in download. Select the model. Optionally, you can click on analyze uh, to view the model memory footprint, occupation, and complexity. Otherwise, you can simply click project, generate code. Now we're going to open the main.c. In the generated project, we can see the xqbi folder here. And inside the app folder, we can find the network.c file that contains the topology of our model and the network data.c that contains the, net, uh, the model parameters. Let's close and go back with the main.c. Now we can start copying the code from the wiki page that is needed to interact with the AI model as we did in the previous video. We are going to start by copying the include header files. Here. Then we go back to the wiki page and we're going to add uh, all the variables needed uh, to pass the data. Then we can go back to the wiki page and copy the definition of the functions that we're going to use. Here we paste the function definition. Now we're going to copy the implementation of the AI init function. Make sure to copy all the function here. Go back to kubeid and we're going to add this function in the user code begin. We add here. Then we go back to the wiki page and we copy also the AI run function back and paste this function. We can go back to the wiki page. We're going to add also the argmax function. This function is used to uh, return the index of the highest scored output. Copy, paste. Now we are going to call the previously implemented AI init function inside the main after the MEMS init. Go back to our main after the MEMS init. We're going to call the AI init. And then we are going to update the main while loop. First, we're going to define this variable, write index. Copy it here. 
here. And then we are gonna comment the printf used in the previous video and we are gonna add all the code needed to take the sensor data, pass it to the AI run and then do the printf of the inference output. Here, I'm gonna comment these and paste our code. In the code that we just copied, we are using the percent %f in the printf and that's not supported by default. So in order to fix this, we're gonna go project, properties, and after cc++ bid settings to settings we're gonna enable the use float with the printf apply and close and now these issues should be solved now we can build and run the project first we're gonna build the project done we should get zero error and zero warning now we can run the project. I already have the board connected to my PC. You can simply click run. Now we have the board programmed with our latest firmware. Firmware in progress, shut down. So the board is programmed correctly. Now we can open TerraTerm as we did in a previous video. In this case, we're gonna check the inference output. In the serial port settings, we're gonna adjust the board rate. You should also see the board live in the top right of the screen. So when the board uh, is at rest, uh, the serial output uh, display should be stationary. If you move the board up and down slowly, it's gonna say walking. And if you shake the board quickly, the serial output should be running. And then back to stationary if I stop shaking the board. Okay, we are at the end of this video of note and I just want to underline some useful resources that you can use to dive in more specifics. Here you can find some useful links. The first one is the wiki page associated with the application note. In the wiki page you can find more details and a Python script to train your own model. The second one is the STM32Cube function pack for ultra low power IoT node with artificial intelligence applications based on audio and motion sensing. Finally, at www.st.com slash stm32cubeai, you can find more resources to experiment AI using STM32. Thank you for watching.